Hello and welcome to yet another of my videos. This will be not about this player, it will be a separate video about that. It will be on how to fix a remote controller and how it works. Um, the first thing is how to open it up. As you see, there's nothing there, no screws or anything. So first thing we do, we open the battery compartment and check if there are any screws there. None. So I asked my wife one day, how do I open? You know, I always ask her those questions and she says, I don't know. I said, something to wedge in there, but not a screwdriver because it would hurt it, you know, it would mark it and damage. So she came up with those. These are things used by women to shave the hair, mainly on the legs. Put a cream and then you shave it, then she brought me those. And as you see, this is my favorite one. Now this, uh, this unit is um, half fixed. I've, I've, it wasn't working at all now, only two buttons don't work, so I have to open it again. So I tried to open it before, and you just have to break and enter with intent. That doesn't lend itself very well, but I found that on the bottom it actually does. So you just press it hard until you get your um, thing into the crack, and then slowly work your way through. And then you go to the other side, and and you do the same thing. And there it is. It is undamaged, unmarked. I've been there before. Quick thing, what is remote control? Remote control is buttons with some resistance, a matrix of lands, which those buttons short when you press the button, a chip, and then on the other side you have a diode that sends the signal, transistor, capacitor, crystal, and a couple of the components resistor capacitor. I will um, make another video and tell you exactly what uh, what they do and and how to fix it. Thank you very much for watching.